Let's do something about them ads. So you find my pyho.yaml in my GitHub. You go ahead and copy this. Jump into Open Media Vault. You go ahead and copy the file. Throw it in here. You save it. You go ahead and start it. You go to the URL. And boom, we have our pyho. We modify the IP. And we're blocking ads already. Stick around and I'll show you how to install the container. Hello guys, so welcome back. This is Rob with Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Pi-hole container installed on Open Media Vault. I mean, you don't have to use Open Media Vault, uh, but that's what I'm going to be using where I'm hosting Open Media Vault. This is a remake of the previous video that I had, but today, um, this should be a lot easier than the previous video of mine and it should be a lot uh, nicer looking so first thing we're going to do is i already went ahead and if you go here on the docker hub right uh you can search for pyho image and you can find this pyho pyho and basically what i did for you guys is i took this yaml file and i already uh, modified it so we can use a mac vlan but it's going to be easier because um, you can go to google and search rob with tech space uh, github and you should find my repository here. So Rob with Tech, and then you can just go to Home Lab, Docker Compose, and you can find the the ones that the, I provided the YAMLs for. So in this case, we're going to use this Pyho, Pyho, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this whole thing. And going back to Open Media Vault, I'm going to do Add, and I'm just going to name this Pyho. Control V so I can paste it. Now I will explain this real quick. Basically, we only have uh, this is the container name. Uh, we have the image. Now host name. If you have two Pyho servers, you can do Pyho one, Pyho two. Now what we are doing is because when whenever we use a Mac VLAN, we can set up a static IP address. So that's what this is here. So in my network, I have this 10.0.0.50 available for it. Um, this is just a name. For the network but you have to make sure that you link it correctly on the bottom here in the pie hole and since we're using a mac vlan we already well i already created the mac vlan network and the name for my mac vlan network is local dash network um and that's why it says external true so we're just going to save this i'm not going to run it just yet i'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do the mac vlan now the mac vlan what it is is it's supposed to be on your on your subnet right so if you go into compose you can go into networks and here you can see my local network this is the way i named it but in your case you're going to do create and then you'll name it if you want to follow exactly how it's on mine you do local dash networks i mean network without the s and then driver is going to be mac vlan parent this is going to be the parent interface which is the network interface that you're using this in my case will be this one subnet the subnet this is going to be specific to your network environment i know like in mine is 10.0.0.04/24 but if you look at your ip address if you're like at 192.168.1.1 but then in your case it's going to be 192.168.1.0/24 uh, you can see the example right here in the bottom um, so in my case it would be like this right oh i got an extra zero in there 24 then gateway 10.0.0.1 of course if you don't have this subnet don't copy this because this won't work for you make sure you have your subnet um, ip range we don't have to fill this in since we're going to be using statics and then in this case you just click save and this will create the mac vlan local dash network i'm not going to click save because i already have it but i just wanted to show you how to get this mac vlan installed now if you're not using open media vault i'll go ahead and paste the command so you can run it on the command line you can create the Mac VLAN via the command line. Just like cancel here. I'll go to compose, go to files. We can go back to PyHole. And since we already copied it, um, but one more thing. If you're using Open Media Vault, you can just leave it like this. Change to compose data path, uh, PyHole, and 
this etc buy hold and etc what this does is that this is a shortcut i don't know in open media vault by you specifying this it's gonna go ahead and, and add this data into the app data folder and then it's gonna create a pie hole folder and then it's gonna create this etc pie hole and etc dns mask now if you're not using open media vault you can just go ahead and change this to the path where you want to have your pie hole folder uh, data so in this case like if you were to check the change to compose data we can go back to storage shared folders and here it is it's just linking to data docker app data or this is the absolute path so that's what that is going back to services compose files we're going to go ahead and run this file hole all right now for the password i didn't specify but here we got the web password uh, make sure that you put something secure but in this case i just went ahead and put one two three four five six seven uh, this is just going to be used the first time so after you run the container once you don't no longer need this line uh, so you can remove that if you want to uh, but that's just want to let you know just you want to change that password also another thing is this cap add and this net admin if you're going to use pyho as a dhcp server uh, make sure you uncomment these and this what's going to do is going to allow the pyho to issue all ips all right so we already started this container and it should be running okay so it's there and then we're going to go to 10 dot zero dot zero dot fifty or this will be the ip address that you specified now i'm going to do you're going to do your ip forward slash admin we should be greeted with the pie hole page and then just do the password and there you have it that's how we get uh, pie hole installed now i'll take a step further if you want to go ahead and use uh, pie hole like because there's multiple ways of using it you can specify all your router traffic to go to your pie hole server if you're trying to do a whole home network filtration uh dns filtering you can do that or you can just specify it on one machine but i'll show you both ways so in this case if you were to want to do it on the on the router level or for all the devices you can just i'm using pfsense uh if you are using pfsense you just go into system general setup and you should have your dns servers right here uh, in this case you would put the ip address of your uh, pihole server in here and uh, you make sure you delete this so it was like that now you can delete the secondary also because then is you're, you're gonna be sending dns entries uh some to your to your pihole and some to the other one so you would have to empty out unless you have two pihole servers um in this case i'm not gonna do it it's just this is how you would be able, you would do it uh or you can also do it like in depending on the dhcp so you go into dhcp server and then you can check like i have this guest network here here in the guest network we have the dhcp server also so anybody that joins my guest network would get this 9999 dns servers and this one so we can also go in here remove this and add the pihole server in here like that and that would do it for all the, the guest network now if you're testing you just want to do it on one computer you can just go into your to your com control panel and you can search for network connections there's a command that you can run i'll post it there on the screen and it will open up this page but basically you go into whatever is your connection this is wi-fi on mine you can just modify this ipv4 properties and you can use this use the following dns servers i'll specify the dns i mean the pihole dns so i'll just do okay okay now if i were to go back to pihole right now we have four entries already and it should be my desktop yeah there it is so this one right here um so i could search for something else like let's say i refresh this page I should be able to see that traffic yeah there it is so it blocked it's already blocking things uh in here so but there you have it guys i mean i don't know if uh there's anything else that you want me to cover i mean of course there's a lot more things in here 
you can specify clients uh, you want to do some testing and like all of that stuff uh, i didn't go too much in detail into this but um also here in dns servers you can specify if you're going to use google dns or you want to use any any others i like to use quad 9 i use the filter one this would be like the the 9.9 .9 .9 .9. haven't had any issues where it blocks anything it's just like adding an extra layer of protection um but of course like the whole purpose of piho is for you to use a dns block lists or ip block lists so if you're going to uh where is it at list you will have this default here the steve black host master there's a lot you can add a lot more at list to this if you want to be more granular or more or block a lot more stuff uh, you could just go ahead and add the addresses in here so you can just search for those and that's how you can get more more out of this pie hole um but i guess you guys have any questions uh drop them down in the comments don't forget to like uh, subscribe i mean uh, have any other video ideas that you want me to to show i mean let me know i'm open to suggestions uh, thank you very much